Terrible news coming out of Syria. Another terrible chemical attack has taken place. Except this time, it, it, it actually happened. 73 residents of a neighborhood in Syria's Aleppo have been treated for symptoms of toxic gas poisoning inhalation after militants in the area filled, used gas-filled munitions against the population. That chemical? Chlorine which has been deliberately used against the population in their own areas. The media isn't even claiming it was Assad this time. In fact, the mainstream media is not reporting it at all. Now, doctors who were there treating the people who were suffering from these from inhalation, suffering from the chemicals, told RT that the hospital had been filled with the distinct chemical smell. Patients seem badly, uh, uh, see very badly and have difficulty breathing. Uh, difficulty breathing, all of which is wholly consistent with chemical, with a chlorine chemical poisoning. And here it is, right plain in front of our faces. And after this happened, the Syrian military did fire back, targeting the position of militants in the north of Aleppo. Uh, this was reported according to a Santa news agency correspondent. And those uh, Terrorists, NATO, U.S., Israel, U.K.-backed terrorists, suffered heavy losses as a result. Well, what's important here? No mainstream media coverage. They're not covering this at all. They're turning a complete and utter blind eye. If they cannot pin this on the Assad government, they simply will not cover it. If this is about humanitarianism, this is about saving the Syrian people from uh, the evil Assad family or what have you, then the mainstream media would be out right now pounding the gavel about this. There would be 24-hour-a-day uh, Trump-style CNN news coverage about what has happened. But it's not. There isn't. In fact, they're not talking about this at all. In fact, it has gone completely ignored by the mainstream media. And we know exactly why that has happened. Because it is the Western-backed, Israeli-backed forces inside the country, the terrorists who are doing it, and not the Assad government. So we get the OPCW, you know, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, saying, oh, this chemical attack that you blame on Assad, we have no evidence that this attack actually took place. And they just forget to report that, but continue to claim that the chemical attack took place. But when here it is, here's one completely out in the open. Everyone can see it done by the terrorist forces. The media is completely silent. They've got nothing to say on the matter whatsoever. It's 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 sickening to uh, like in an incredible degree. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It is. It's. No, no, 404 adjective not found used to describe this. And this is part of the ongoing propaganda effort against the Syrian government, Russia, uh, and Iran to try to liberate the country from these terrorists that the United States are responsible for placing in the country to begin with, to try to clean up the mess that U.S. imperialism created. Uh, we know this is wholly on the part of the U.S. They have, in previous instances, reported that they have stopped supplying the terrorists inside of Syria. Pardon me, the moderate head choppers. So we know they're behind it. They have been behind it since the beginning. They keep using Israeli munitions. They keep ending up with weapons from Saudi Arabia. They keep ending up with all kinds of deadly devices that were manufactured in Israel, but just happened to end up in their hands. We keep seeing reports of how ISIS commanders are being taken from Syria, passing through the Golan Heights to receive emergency medical services inside of Israel. It's done. The narrative that somehow Assad is this evil tyrant just murdering his own people is done. The absolute lie that this whole war was based on is absolutely done. The fact that the mainstream media will not cover this, they will not cover the gas attack inside the country, which they say is such a red line that, that no one should ever pass, the fact that it's going on right now and they won't even mention it 
shows what a complete and utter absolute lie the mainstream media really is. This is nothing more than the complete and utter proof that you cannot believe the mainstream media at all. You cannot, you cannot believe the Democratic Party. You cannot believe the Republican Party. They are both a part of that same desire to cover up the truth in order to protect U.S. interests inside the country. Democrat, Republican, Trump, and sure as hell Hillary... It is the all the same drive, the same uh, uh, the same moneyed interest, the same need for imperialism to expand in the country, and we get liberals all the time saying, "Oh, it's the military-industrial complex. Oh, we keep going to war because weapons manufacturers want it." Do you think the government really just spends all this money on weapons just because the weapons company want them to do it, or uh, uh, bribe them in office, or what have you? No. I mean, if you're a liberal, okay, I mean, that's what you're going to believe. It's, you know, that kind of unscientific thinking. Just resort to some kind of conspiracy. However, as Marxists, and we understand societies from particular structures, we see very clearly from the writings of Lenin that imperialism is going to do this. It's a very function of the system itself. The fact that it benefits weapon manufacturers is just an unintended consequence or is it really a consequence when it's probably the most appropriate thing that can happen? Imperialism is going to do what it does. Capital has to expand beyond its borders. It has to capture new territory, cheaper and cheaper resources, access to new markets, etc. It has to do this. Capital has to expand. This is by no means something that the evil Donald Trump is doing. And this is not something that the crooked Hillary is doing. It is something inherent to the system itself that it must do by its own logic. This is capitalism when it reached, when the growth of capital reaches the borders of its own country. It must expand upwards. And we have seen this from the writings of Lenin. There's no need to, to rehash them. All you have to do is, is read Lenin's works on imperialism, and you have absolutely everything you need to see regarding that subject. But the mainstream media turning a complete and utter absolute blind eye to everything that is going on. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.